Hi, so how are you doing? Now, the latest news from the eastern part of Congo, particularly around Goma, is that M23 stroke Rwandan Defense Force troops that are there have been trying to operate social media accounts. We know that they've been having a group of uh, bloggers mostly operating from Rwanda to run their propaganda. And a lot of those social media accounts have been uh, uh, terminated in recent times. So a lot of uh, Facebook, a lot of uh, Instagram and YouTube channels that are affiliated to these terrorists have been getting, you know, the ban. They've been deleted. Of course, the only ones that are still surviving are the Twitter accounts uh, because, I, I know, you, as you know, Twitter has a different uh, kind of uh, policy when it comes to the propaganda accounts. And now what they are doing today, this week actually, is that they have been uh, looting communication masts, you know, those towers that are in near North Kivu, and taking them to Mweso. So they, 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 there have been images and photos of trucks calling those communication towers, you know, those pylons uh, for communication boost, uh, boosters being taken to Mweso. The reason behind this is that M23 uh, or these Rwandan troops, the, they want to start a radio station. So they've been going to other smaller radio stations operating in North Kivu. And particularly this week, uh, they went to this radio station in Ruchuru called the RTNC. RTNC Ruchuru. They, they went there. Uh, one of the journalists actually was shot because he resisted them. The other journalists who accepted to be working with M23 uh, were hired. So they are going to be working with them. And then they are going to start a radio station there in Mueso where they captured this town. And other people are saying they are also going to have a substation of the same radio in Bunagana. Bunagana is the town near the border with Uganda. They're going to use all this equipment they stole from different uh, FM stations in, in the North Kivu to start their own radio station. So the radio station is going to be called AFC FM. AFC FM. AFC meaning Allied Fluid Congo or the Congo River Alliance. The one that I told you is a, a group that was formed between these Rwandan-backed rebels called M23 together with the Rwandan troops and the backers and supporters of the former president of Congo, Joseph Kabira, led by Kanel Nanga. I showed you a video last week of him uh, wearing military fatigue in a meeting in uh, Ruchuru, in, uh, particularly in uh, this region near Mueso. And no, he was. They were in. Uh, they were in uh, Kibati, not Kibati. They were where? Where were they? They were in Ruchuru, actually in Kiwanja. Yes, they were in Kiwanja. So there was they were in this town called Kiwanja, which is not far from Ruchuru, and probably that's where they're going to even set up the, the radio station, the main headquarter of their radio station. And their radio station now is going to be having propaganda pieces to the people of Ruchuru, trying to lie to them, basically. You know how propaganda works. And Rwanda is very good at that. They know how to generate propaganda and sell it and stand by it to a point that the, the truth is forgotten and the lie becomes the truth. You know, you know they've been doing that from 1990. We know that. They, they insist that, for example, the people who died in 1994, that most of them were Tutsis, even though we know the 800,000 Tutsis were not in Rwanda at the time. They were probably less than... 500,000 living in Rwanda, the rest were living in other countries. So they say 800 of them died. We don't know where those 800 came from. Uh, of course, that means that those 800, most of them were the Hutus. But you know, as I said, they keep repeating the lie so many times to a point that now the lie becomes the truth and then the original story is forgotten. They are very good at that. And that is what is happening. So in coming days, you're going to see uh, a radio called AFC Radio coming up in uh, North Kivu in Ruchuru uh, district. And these are, uh, as I said, there'll be substation for it in Bunagana, maybe the main one because it is closer to Uganda. There'll be another one in Kichanga. 
a substation in Kichanga. They're going to install another mast in uh, Vichumbi. They're also going to install another mast in Buiza. Uh, so that's uh, the, the story. And that's what they're doing. So for those people who are wondering what is going on at the moment because things look so quiet, that is what is happening. Uh, the other story I need to tell you is that two days ago, uh, there was Arendo, you know, the fighters, the freedom fighters, managed to now totally remove M23 from south of Sake. You know, they had captured the territory uh, along the Sake Kiroche Road. The Sake Kiroche Road, that's where they were operating. So there was Arendo together with the Congo Special Force. You, you know, you need to know that the Congo Special Force is also working with the Wazarendo to track the, the, the locations of the M23 and hit them with the sniper guns. They have been doing a very good job there. So now the M23 elements that were there, mostly in the hills, in the Vnamo hills, and the other hills near Vnamo, those are the Buambalilo hills, uh, they've been removed from there. So the Sake Kiroche Road is now open. Uh, there's no M23 there. Vehicles are moving. It, it's it's back to peace in Sake, right? And and as you go sa south to Kiroche on the Shasha Kiroche Sake Road. So that's what is happening. And the, the Wazarendo are also doing a very good job to make sure that they track down these rebels, these Rwandans, and kick them out from Congo. So they are only left with the north Kivu in Ruchuru because it is closer to Uganda, as I said in a previous video. And now Uganda keeps backing them up, giving them ammunition. Rwanda is openly giving them uniform, service to air missile, and even soldiers. Rwanda is sending their own soldiers to fight there in the m23 group and they are working to ensure that they maintain that territory so ruchuru uh, the north of ruchuru is now in the hands of the m23 and now they have started uh, they are collecting taxes you know the, the the people there who have shops and businesses pay tax to the m23 and now they've decided to come up with a radio station to be telling those people propaganda pieces so, so that's what is happening.